All right. It seems that Gallus is being held somewhere inside those small opening at the top of that far tent. What I don't see is how you are going to get up there. <sighs> the circus. I could have been the greatest trapeze artist. Uh-huh, sure. Anyway, the tent... And with your shell, you'd be a natural for the guy they shoot out of the cannon every night. I can't. Look, you better go check out that tower. It's a good vantage point, and we can assess the situation from there. Okay, Sly, get up that tower, and you can break out the new outfit and toy I made with those materials. Oh, so there was a reason for that. Of course. <laughs> It appears the guards have left plenty of ammunition like around. That bow I made you will work perfectly here. Press the L2 button to change into the outfit now. Alright, now grab one of the arrows from that basket. Try standing next to it and pressing the circle. Wow, that bow will fire an arrow with an attached rope. Use it to create a pathway here. Try to hit that target across the gap. Press and hold the R1 button to draw the bow, then release it to fire. <laughs> One thing, Sly. I built that bow to impart a unique vibrational resonance to arrows, which will dramatically affect their aerodynamics. You can even use the left stick to steer an arrow while it's still in flight. It should make hitting movie targets a Wow, somehow this place looks smaller from the outside. Fly by scan shows the ground in here is rigged with motion detectors, which means you'll need to stay off the floor. You wanted to be a trapeze artist? Here's your chance. Cool. How does this sound for a stage name? The Amazing Cooperone! Huh? Huh? Right? It's good. It sounds like bad Italian takeout. I'm betting that platform is where they're keeping Gallup. Go check it out. All right, smart guy. On my way. Right on target. I noticed. Thanks, pal.
Nailed it. I just want to know where all these cannonballs are landing. What kind of circus has this much ammunition? I should try this blindfolded. <laughs> Sir Galleth? My name is Sly. I've come to rescue you. Greetings, friend. But I require no rescue. I am merely biding my time until the uh, proper strategic moment. Yes, that. So, how long have you been biding your time? Well, I suppose it has been about a fortnight. All right. If you want to stay here with the cannonballs and flaming rings, that's fine. I'm heading back to my gang's hideout to plan our next move. You make a good point, sir. Yes! I believe the time is now! Let us rush forward, that we may strike a crushing blow against the Black Tyrant who imprisoned me. Whoa, one thing at a time. Let's just get back to the hideout first. Once Sir Galleth calmed down, we returned to the hideout and got the whole story. The surrounding area was held in the iron grip of a fearsome Black Knight. His origin was a mystery, but his power and technological might was impressive. He'd even created a new type of robotic guard, which patrolled tirelessly and without mercy. Galleth had been captured when he tried to take on these guards single-handedly. Bentley searched every criminal database in existence, but couldn't find a thing. All we had were more questions. Had Le Paradox somehow made an ally from this time period? And how had this Black Knight managed to create those mechanical monsters? When we explained to Sir Galleth who we really were, I don't know if he believed us or not. But it didn't matter. He just started ranting about taking the fight to the enemy and restoring the Cooper honor. Needless to say, the guy was a little intense. Until we figured out what was going on, I could see we were going to have to keep him on a short leash. Patrol moving an object in a locked case through the town. From the level of security, I'd bet the farm it's Gallus Cade. 
You have a farm? Just get over there. If what Gavin says is true, the Black Knight almost never leaves his castle. And when he does, it's only to briefly visit the blacksmith shop. This may be the one opportunity we have to steal the cane back. Okay, time to join the parade. Fly, before you make a move, get some pictures of the Black Knight and that case. We need to figure out who and what we're dealing with. Sly, make sure your shot of the Black Knight is from the front. I want a closer look at his armor. Strange-looking creature. Put it in the circus. Sly, make sure your shot of the Black Knight is from the front. I want a closer look. Well, that's a little dark. Too bad this thing doesn't have a flash. Sly, very nice, Sly. I could crack that thing with my eyes closed. So just get to that cave before they reach the blacksmith shop, and I'll hack it remotely. Great! Keep it up! Now I gotcha. Very nice, Sly. I could crack that thing with my eyes closed. So just get to that case before they reach the blacksmith shop, and I'll hack it remotely. Great! Keep it up! This plastic suit is so hot! some super deodorant for the paradox.
Gallus, those balloons above us are more than just decoration for the circus. The Black Knight can use them to monitor our movements and conversations. Pray tell, how can such a thing be possible? It's complicated. Let's just say those balloons have machines that are like eyes and ears that can detect things at great distance. And you are the only one who can reach them. Say no more. I shall go forth to smash these airborne demons, lest they set their wicked gaze upon us. Find me a catapult and a very large rock. Hold on a minute. First, you should find locations to use your catapult crash technique and reach those balloons safely. Then you can destroy the machine. Uh, of course, as you will. Ah, the perfect opportunity to apply my catapult crash technique. No mere obstacle can halt my ascent. My capable crash technique is more than powerful enough to smash yon barriers. Hmm. The guards appear as mere bugs from this height. Awesome! Two more balloons to go! This tower is no match for my catapult crash technique. I could scale this tower with one hand. All right, there's the second system. Mechanism is no match for my cane. Time to complete this quest.
The final blow will soon be struck. Okay, Gallup, this is the last one. Outstanding, Gallup. Now our communications will be secure. I told you, Bentley, a loathsome creature does indeed guard the castle. Well, if that's true, advanced geological theory indicates the only place this boat monster could hide is inside that cavern. Forsooth! Perhaps also because it is the only cavern in the area? Uh, right. If this thing exists at all, it all sounds like superstitious nonsense. You doubt the veracity of my tale? Then allow me to vanquish this evil beast and quell your disbelief! Whoa, wait a sec, Gallop. Just navigating that cave's interior could be hazardous to your health. Nay, Bentley. Fear not. I will show you the true valor of the Cooper name. <laughs> Carmelita, what are you doing? Relax, Ringtail. Just keeping tabs on the Dragon Slayer. I don't recall you watching my back on any jobs. Only when I'm trying to catch you. But I find Galeth charming. He has a good heart. Even if he is a headstrong goof. Then you better get going before Sir Goof gets himself captured again. These murky caves conceal the villain's presence. Next time, I should procure a more lightweight suit of armor. The 
foul creature will soon feel my wrath. This beast shall soon know the valor of the Koopas. Quite a pleasant climb. Aside from the impending monster battle, This dragon is not flesh and bone, but iron and steel. Holy hand with a little robot! Together, this monster is a giant machine! Sleep well, Behemoth, for soon enough your fate is sealed. Now, foul demon, face the fury of Sir Galath Cooper! Galath, no! Mayhap Sir Bentley had a point.
Alas and alack, I feel as though I have been ground into sausage. I... are you hurt, Sir Galleth? Methinks I am still whole. I thank you, milady, but must confess, rescue by a fair damsel wounds me deepest. I think I understand. What do you say we make this our little secret? I would be thrice grateful and in your debt. What a fair and gracious maid you are, Carmelita. I think I like the sound of that. Okay, listen up! We need to hit the Black Knight where it hurts! And that means taking down the operations he set up in the village shops! First up, Murray, you'll need to visit the tavern! Sorry, big guy, no time for snacks! The tavern has been converted into a fuel production facility for those robotic guards! Get in there and do what you do best! Tear the place apart! Next, Sly, you'll need to revisit the shoemakers! We're going to shut down the machines fabricating those ginormous parts! Last, but certainly not least, Galeth, you'll need to infiltrate the bakery! My instrument readings show it's the main power source for the other production facilities! You're the only one who can reach the second floor, where I believe you'll find a generator! There's no time to waste, so let's get going! Okay, you heard Bentley. Together, we can bring this whole operation down. Yeah! Let's go kick some butt! Murray, you need to get to the tavern. I think for this one, you can go right through the front door. You mean like, watch through the door? I meant walk, actually. Well, uh, I like to have options. <laughs> Shut down the mixing system. Try disabling those vats. I got you, chum. The Murray is gonna rain destruction like a cloud of pain. Interesting analogy. Murray, try throwing the cars into the vats. Get in it, Murray! The 
Murray is triumphant! Consider it done. You'd better watch out for that laser. If it slices through the rope while you're on it, you'll fall into that pool of white hot molten metal below. Is that bad? Sometimes your humor escapes me, Sly. I bet we can invent some laser-proof rope. I'll take over from here, Sly! Way to go, Bentley! This place is definitely closed for business. Bentley! All right, this is it. You'll need to shut down those three sub generators to disable the central device, but be careful. I suspect the system has an auto reset, and you'll need to deactivate them all before that happens. Enough twaddle and gobbledygook. Time for action! Oh boy. Keep going, Dallas! You need to shut them all down before they reach the bar! Fear 
not! What sort of infernal magic is this? A treacherous machine indeed! Alright. Hurry up, Slowpoke. Whatever, just don't lose him, Sly. Hmm. It looks like the production facilities in town are down. We'll have to look into that. I have a feeling Cooper has something to do with this. Giving me a headache. He makes Gah! me so mad. I need to squash him once and for all. Then I can get things back on track. <clears throat> After I crush the Cooper Dean. I'll put them all in the circus. Maybe even shrink that fan of theirs down and turn it into a clown car. Ugh. How fun. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. It looks like the production facilities in town are down. We'll have to look into that. I have a feeling Cooper has something to do with this. Giving me a headache. He makes me so mad. I need to squash him once and for all. Then I can get things back on track. Cooper game. I'll put them all in the circus. 
Maybe even shrink that van of theirs down and turn it into a clown car. How fun. Huh. My balloon surveillance system is malfunctioning. It's probably those darn birds again. I need to invent a scarecrow with a rocket launcher. <laughs> Bentley, he's going into the blacksmith shop. Should I follow him inside? No, I'll take it from here, Sly. I should be able to get inside through that hatch on the roof. Time to get some answers. from up here. I'll have to get closer without being seen. I can turn those laser fields off with my darts. I better stay up here in the rafters. I can't risk being seen. Decisions, decisions. Should I feed Cooper to the dragon? Or make him into a rug? Maybe I'll feed him to the dragon first, then make him into a rug with the leftovers. Ha ha ha. No way I'm letting this guy get his hands on Sly. We have to stop him. Blasty Cooper gang. They may have shut down operations for the time being, but I'll have the last laugh. My castle is impenetrable. Once Operation Overlord is complete, I will be unstoppable. Operation Overlord? I don't like the sound of that. Commencing hack. The speeder's laser loop will work perfectly on that switch. Laser loop around multiple switches would do the trick.
where is that stinking Le Paradox when I need his help? He owes me everything for stealing Bentley's time machine plans. Bentley? Oh, Penelope, what a little fool you were. Oh, no. My plans? That means I caused all this? Penelope! Oh, please, Penelope, be all right! I swear on my mother's shell, I will crush you myself, Black Knight! Time for a binary beatdown! Quit when you had the chance. Huh? 
When this business with Cooper is over, I need to take a vacation. Some place where I can get a fruit punch with a little umbrella. Still not tropical, with no robots. Vacation? I'm gonna make sure the only place this guy's going is straight to prison. Dude, it's so hot. I need some air. Much better. I can barely think in that thing. It's not possible. Phew, that thing's almost as stuffy as Bentley. Penelope? But why would she... If only Bentley hadn't been brainwashed by Cooper's honorable thief nonsense. We could have made billions in weapon design. The two most brilliant minds on the planet working together. We could have owned the world. But no matter. Once Cooper's out of the way, he'll see things my way. Poor Bentley. He's kind of cute when he's being dumb. Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. When Bentley returned to the hideout, he crawled into his shell and wouldn't come out. Nobody could blame him. Penelope may have betrayed our friendship and trust, but she betrayed Bentley's heart. I knew he blamed himself for the whole predicament, but it wasn't his fault. Everyone took turns trying to coax him out, but nothing worked. In the end, it seemed that Bentley would have to come back to us on his own. Unfortunately, we couldn't wait around. We had a villain to take down, with or without Bentley's help. And this time, it was personal. <laughs>